This is an interesting problem. This integral is easiest to do with a simple u substitution. Let u equal x minus 1, which means that x could be replaced with u plus 1, and also du is dx. And I'll leave that for you to do. What I'm suggesting here is a little bit of practice on integration by parts by letting dv be the square root of x minus 1 dx, and then u, of course, would be just x. So one of the things that makes it even more interesting is if you do it with that simple u substitution, it's going to be pretty tricky to prove that the two answers are actually equivalent because they look quite a bit different. So let's get into it. Let dv be x minus 1 to the 1 half. I just wanted to do that to make it easier to see the antiderivative. Then that means v is, is going to be the result I get from adding 1 to the exponent and dividing by that exponent. Dividing by 3 halves gives me a 2 thirds out in front. And u was x. So du is dx. And we use the integration by parts formula. And we have a uv, so 2 thirds x times x minus 1 to the 3 halves minus the integral of v du. Now v has a factor of 2 thirds on it, so I'm going to bring that out in front. And I get an x minus 1 to the 3 halves du is just dx. So I get 2 thirds x times the quantity x minus 1 to the 3 halves minus 2 thirds times the integral of x minus 1 to the 3 halves. That's just x to the 1, x minus 1 to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 fifths. And then I have a plus c. And cleaning it up just a little bit. That's 4 fifteenths out in front of that second term. And that's it. Again, give it a try using this standard u substitution. And at first glance, the answers don't look the same. But when you do some factoring and some combining of like terms and all that, you can end up showing that the two answers are the same.